friends and welcome. Some of you suggested to me that I should do a Harry Potter bookshelf tour and you know what? You're completely right. I should do that because this is my passion. This is something that gives me so much joy, my Harry Potter shrine. And um, yeah, I would love to share it with you guys. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna give you guys my Harry Potter bookshelf tour. Here's where all the magic happens. And if you're wondering, is this the entire Harry Potter collection? No, it is not. I have a lot of other Harry Potter stuff that is spread throughout the house, but this is the main bookcase. So the main area where I have all Harry Potter stuff come together. I don't know why I did it like that. We're gonna start at the left side of the bookcase because I have some beautiful Harry Potter arts. And then we're gonna go to the top and we're gonna work our way through to the bottom of this beautiful bookcase. So I'm very excited for it. I hope you guys are as well. And if you haven't done so already, go and click that subscribe button and hit that bell so you never miss another video of me again. Now let's get into it. Before we move over to my bookcase, I'm going to take you guys to this side. And here we have a beautiful art print by Holly Simpson of Hogwarts. I think this is just gorgeous and it came in one of my Geek Gear Wish Tree boxes. Moving on, we have a poster of Lucius Malfoy. And this is something that also came in a Geek Gear Wizardry box. And I just wanted to display it somewhere, so I thought, why not tape it to the side of my bookcase? And here we are at the top of my bookcase. So as you can see, I have a beautiful a Gay Pride hat here, which I think is really cool. And when I'm going to go to Disney, um, I will wear this. I've made a promise to myself I want to wear this because I love what it stands for. And I just think it looks super cute. So yeah, this came in one of my... Mickey's mystery boxes. And then behind this, let's put it right there, two wand boxes. So this one is from Hermione Granger. And these are of course empty, but I didn't want to throw them away. So I thought, why not put them on top of my bookcase? And here we have the one oh, <laughs> from, oh, it doesn't say. Well, this one is uh, from the Elder Wands. And we have all my pops at least the boxes because I display my pops um, and this one is still in the box because I honestly don't know where to put it but I still think it looks really cool so I'll just leave it in the box and um, we have a lot of Disney pops but also a lot of Harry Potter pops this little corner on my top shelf is themed around the Goblet of Fire so up here I have a cute little fake plant <laughs> with my own piece of paper from the Goblet of Fire um, this actually came in one of my cauldron crates and then this one was in the same crate I believe and it is the one from Fleur Delacour. Then up here is an item whoop, from, oh I gotta be careful here, uh, from Litjoy Crate and this is the wedding invitation from Fleur and William. I thought that looked really cute just behind this. So, whoop. Okay, where did it go? Oh, it's here. Okay, let me just get that. And we're back. Okay, then <laughs> up here we have a Yule Ball invitation and this came in the Curation of Magical Curiosity. So this is the box that Cherry Wallace made and it is a beautiful invitation. And then we have my three little pops that came in a Christmas advent calendar, I believe. So of course we have Hermione, Ron and Harry. I thought that looked really cute in front of the invitation. And then here we have Victor Crumb and a beautiful pumpkin juice bottle, which I actually filled with a little bit of water so you could see the blue reflection. And this is of course also from the Yule Ball and came in, again, the Curation of Magical Curiosities. And on the right side of the shelf is my wand collection. And this is a wand holder that I got in my Magical Suitcase box. And I am absolutely in love with this. I think it looks gorgeous. And then up here I have a spell page, which also came in a Magical Suitcase box. And it tells you the movement that you need to make for Akio. 
So if you want a close-up of that spell page, I recommend you check out that video. I'll leave it in the info cards. Most of these wands came from Geeky Wizardry boxes, and two of them are from the Noble Collection. So on top we have this dragon wand, then we have a Noble Collection wand, which is Hermione's wand, this cool looking chess piece wand, the Elder wand, of course, again from Noble Collection, then a very quirky looking wand, my Ravenclaw wand, which I absolutely love, and just a brown normal looking wand. So yeah, that is my wand section. When we go down one shelf, I'm going to show you guys my Honey Dukes section. So this I am absolutely in love with. I mean, all the colors <laughs> look so pretty. So of course we have our chocolate frog cards right here. So we have the Hufflepuff one, Gryffindor Ravenclaw, Birdie Bots, <laughs> and this is uh, a chick on a broom. I actually don't know who this is. Who are you? You are Jacunda Sykes. Okay. Um, I don't have the Slytherin chocolate frog card, but one day. Uh, here we have a happy birthday, Harry. I love this. Uh, I thought this looks cute with all the Honey Dukes um, stuff, and this came in a Geek Gear Wistry box. This is something that I bought in a shop called Helios Frog, but I think you can get these almost in every Harry Potter shop. They don't taste that good, but hey, <laughs> for display purposes, they are super cute. Then back here we have a Honey Dukes popcorn bucket, which I actually got in a Shelf Love crate, which is a book box subscription box. Then back here we have the Honey Dukes scratch and sniff adventure. Ron is totally in the way. Let's remove Ron. This book came in my Magical Books, which is a book box subscription for Magical Suitcase. So yeah, I absolutely love this. Now let's put Ron back again. I decided to put Ron here because out of the three, he is the one who likes sweets the most and loves to go to Honey Dukes. And here we have an empty chocolate frog package and sherbet lemons, which is also empty. I couldn't resist. <laughs> and then underneath Ron we have a beautiful candle that also came in a magical suitcase box. It smells amazing by the way. And yeah, that is my honeydew section. Moving on, we have a cute little cactus, and this one is real actually. <laughs> on front we have Hagrid, which is also a pop that came in the calendar, advent calendar, and his lantern. And this again is something from Geek Gear Wizardry. Just looks really cool. And yeah, I just wanted to put it next to our little Hagrid. Then up here we have a Prison of Azkaban theme. So here we have a night bus ticket. I don't remember where I got this from. I think Litjoy or Cauldron Crate, but I'm not sure. This is from Fungo Pop or from Pop, I should say. And this, I love this. This is amazing. I mean, look at this ad. <laughs> but this actually came in a magical suitcase box. Then we have my Lego night bus which I thoroughly enjoyed putting together. And if you look closely, you can see that Harry is in there. Hello, Harry. And underneath we have Ernie. And here we have Sirius Black as prisoner and in his dog form. And then underneath him, we have another candle from Magical Suitcase. Behind Sirius is an Animagus page, which again came from a Magical Suitcase box. Um, if you want to close above that page, uh, I will leave that video in the info cards. And then here we have a letter from Sirius Black to Harry in which he gives permission to go to Hogsmeade. And the feather that you see on top is a buckbeak feather. Moving on to another shelf. This is my replica shelf and on here are the more expensive items in my collection. So let's start at the left. Here we have a beautiful art print that was drawn by Cherry Wallace. This actually came in her first curation of Magical Curiosities. And next to it is another item from this box, which is the memory file. And on there is a date that is very precious to me because that is the date that I started my YouTube channel. Here we have a replica of Hermione's back. This is from Lidjoy Crate. And I think it looks really, really authentic. 
and obviously way cheaper than the one from Noble Collection. So yeah, love that. Then here we have the Time Turner from Noble Collection, which I sometimes wear because, I mean, look at it in its wooden display case. And I thought it would be fitting to put Hermione here with a little mandrake. Then next to it we have some other items from the Curation of Magical Curiosities. So first up is the Mimbles Mimbotonia. And then here we have a Remembral. Seems like I didn't forget something, so let's put that back. And then right above it we have a flying key. And I just taped it. That is not magical at all, but it looks awesome. On the right side of this shelf we have a, let's say, starter kit to the Wizarding World. I just thought it would be fun to put all the items here that you need when you go to Hogwarts. So for instance, a ticket to the Hogwarts Express. This came from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour web shop. Then some coins from a Gringotts Wizarding Bank. And up here we have a letter that my bank account has been opened and then a little pouch where I can put my coins. Here we have the Philosopher's Stone. This is an item from the Curation of Magical Curiosities. And my own vault key, which came in a Geek Gear Wizardry box. Then up here, we have my Hogwarts acceptance letter. And at the back is my address, so I'm not gonna show you guys that. And then here we have my own Hogwarts trunk with my initials. So if you're wondering what's inside this trunk, because there are some items in here, I um, I'm not gonna open it right now, uh, but I did do that and also I opened this envelope. So if you are curious to see, I will leave that video in the info cards. Moving on, we have Fox the Phoenix. And this is honestly one of the most beautiful pops that I own. He just looks gorgeous. And I thought it would look nice if he is just a little bit higher. So I put him on this candle from Magical Suitcase. And then behind him is the necklace from Xenophilius Lovegood, which is of course the Deathly Hallows necklace from Noble Collection. And yeah, that is my replica shelf. Let's go down one shelf. And here we have my school section. So let's take a look at the potions. And of course, every potion section needs a copy of advanced potion making. So I have one right here. And this is not from Alarm 18. This is from someone else on Etsy. Um, but it's a very cool replica and if you want to take a closer look, I suggest that you take a look at that video. Then next to it we got a actual quill pen, which I don't use, but I think it looks nice. So yeah, I just wanted to put that there. And then we have a beautiful ceramic coffee mug from Geekier, I believe, not sure. Then at the back here we have a auctioneer's guide of Borgen and Burks that came in a Muggle Magic box. Then here we have all these cute little cups. Let's remove you right here. Of the Polyjuice Potion Felix Felices and an Amortensia. So these are actually espresso cups, I believe, but I just think they look really cute. And inside the top one, I store my little potion notes. So some of these potions came with little notes. I don't want to throw them away. So I save them in my Amortensia cup. Back here we have a Amortensia love potion that came in a Giga Wizardry box. And next to it, another potion from Giga Wizardry, Draught of Living Death. And of course, when there's potions, there's Snape. Unicorn Blood, Barufio's Brain Elixir, Agent Potion. I actually have two of those, of course, for Fred and George, but look at this, guys. Magic. A Skelligro Potion, Mandrake Roots, Wolfsbane Potion, Amortensia. This is another Aging Potion, Draught of Living Death. Another one, small version. Draught of Peace and Unicorn Hair. Okay, it kind of seems like I killed a unicorn. I mean, I have blood and hair. That's quite creepy, actually. Next to my potions, I have two chess pieces. 
one from Geek Air and the other from Curation of Magical Curiosities, which is stunning. I absolutely love this. And on the right side of the shelf, you have the Hogwarts Professors. So, of course, we have Remus Lupin with his Disney Silver, which is actually something that he needs to make his Wolfsbane potion. And this came, ooh, there's still a sticker underneath, but this came in a magical suitcase. And this beautiful page also came from them. And this explains about Lycanthropy, Lycanthropy, Lycanthropy. Lycanthropy like, like about werewolves. Then up here we have the owl results of Ronald Billius Weasley. And I'm actually taking my owls right now uh, for the magical readathon, so if you're interested, you can check out that video. And here we have Professor Lockhart, who's standing on a Ravenclaw candle from Colin Crate. And underneath the candle is a letter that he wrote to his fans. So there's actually a letter inside, which is awesome. And then a photo that he sends alongside the letter. So these items actually came from Colin Crate as well. And here we have Professor Trelawney trying to predict the future. And then next to her is the Prophecy Orb, which came in a Gigger Wizardry box. Moving on, we have our next shelf, which is a mix between Quidditch and the Dark Arts. Over here we have the Bloody Baron. And he's standing on his own candle, so a Bloody Baron candle that came in my Magical Suitcase box. And then behind him, another item from Magical Suitcase, which is the invitation to the Headless Hunt Party, I believe, from Nearly Headless Nick. And then, just around the corner, we have Moaning Myrtle. This is actually a toilet paper holder, but I thought it would look better on my shelves. This amazing skull, which is obviously not real, is something that I bought in the Helios Frog store and I mean look at it, it is so gorgeous and I just had to have this and I think it looks beautiful on the dark art section. So behind it is a petrification spell page which came from Magical Suitcase I believe, a art print I think from Cauldron Crate of the Dark Mark. And then here, the page that Hermione was holding when she got petrified. Yeah, there's a theme here, people. Our Fungo Pop of Voldemort with Nagini. And he's standing on... Not sure what he's standing on. Let's see. All right. Yeah, this is another Moaning Myrtle item. Prefects bath. So this is something you can put in the bath, but I don't have one. So I thought it would look cool to put Voldemort on top of it. This is actually the little piece of paper that was found near the Horcrux. And we also have the Certificate of Registry of Birth of Tom Marvolo Riddle. That is another item, paper replica from the Muggle Magic Box. Then we have the dagger that killed Dobby, another Geek Gear Wizardry item. And then here we have a wand from Geek Gear Wizardry which I thought fitted the theme nicely. And then one of our most recent items, the pocket mirror that was found in Hermione's hand while she was petrified. That is my dark arts section. Moving on to the right side of the shelf, we have some quidditch stuff. So here we have a bat, a quaffle and a bludger. These came from a Geeky Wistry box. And here we have Ron flying on his broomstick. And because I didn't really know where to put these other two things, I thought, why not go for a Ron theme? So here we have another art print of a howler that was made by Cherry Wallace. And here the letter that Mr. and Mrs. Weasley sent to Mr. and Mrs. Dursley and put way too many stamps on. Um, this is a replica from Calden Crate. And here we have a little Harry that has the snitch in his hand and a broom. He looks really happy. And when we move him to the side, you see someone else looking really happy because that is me. Um, this was a picture taken at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. And then here we have a Skelligrow bottle that came in the Geek Gear Wistry box. 
and we've come to the final shelf of this bookcase so this is kind of a miscellaneous shelf we have some art prints from Ikigiro Wistry because I honestly don't know where to put them <laughs> and here we have a handkerchief from uh, Fantastic Beasts this came in a loot crate um, and underneath are all my wires <laughs> that I need to film or charge batteries and stuff like that and I don't know where to keep them so I thought why not put them on this beautiful handkerchief that looks magical. And next to that are some pens, some paper clips that I got in a fairy loop box, same with the little moon dish, some stickers that I still haven't used, some from Disney, some from Harry Potter, my battery. <laughs> A dark mark tattoo which I should definitely use sometime and my unforgivable curses pencils these came in a cotton crate box and here we have the buttered form of Snape next to that are two notebooks that are just too beautiful to use so this came from Primark it even has a one pen and this is The Life and Lies of Albus Dumbledore by Rita Skeeter. This came in my Lit Joy crate. Here we have one of the statues from Hogwarts, which came in a Geeky Wistry box. Another little cactus. And then here we have a Deluminator candle from Lit Joy crate. And finally, a Ministry of Magic replica, a letter replica from Cotton Crate. That was it guys, my Harry Potter bookshelf tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. And all that's left for me to say is have a magical day and let's stay in touch.